Hello everyone. So today I'm at the biggest piazza in the Italian city of Modena and uh, I'm sure a lot of you would already be familiar with Modena since it's actually famous for quite a lot of things and uh, the actually uh, the, and the most popular thing that I'd say uh, would be uh, Ferrari so it actually doesn't get bigger than that so uh, the city of Modena obviously has a lot of motorsport uh, sport heritage and, and uh, the uh, since Ferrari the biggest one of the biggest uh, names in motorsport uh, actually is actually based in Modena and then there's also Maserati that's not far off and in fact the Maserati factory is literally just uh, at a walking distance from where we are right now so yeah and then there's Lamborghini which actually isn't that far it's technically not doesn't fall under the province of Modena but it's not that far and then Pagani uh, is also uh, based in Modena so this city is definitely when it comes to motorsport uh, this is actually the Detroit of uh, Italy uh, now uh, coming back to uh, where we are right now, uh, so this uh, Piazza Grande is uh, once again is the biggest uh, piazza in uh, the city of Modena. So having said that, there's also other piazzas, some smaller ones, but this is the main and the biggest piazza. Uh, now this video uh, is because we are only going to be focusing on the buildings that are actually in uh, located co are co inherent with the actual piazza and. There's all another building, so we're gonna do a bit of a walk. So I'm just gonna show you what I was in the piazza, and then I'm gonna do a bit of a walk towards another building, which is El uh, Palazzo Ducale, so uh, the, the Royal Palace. Uh, and so, uh, but having said that, there's actually a lot of heritage, just like um, you know other major cities. There's a lot of heritage. There's a lot of stuff to see, but fortunately, due to the constraints of uh, Keeping uh, this video uh, short, uh, we're only going to be focusing on the uh, few buildings. But if you are actually interested in coming to Modena, once again, it's uh, around uh, uh, 250 yard k's from uh, Malpensa Airport, uh, Milano Malpensa Airport. Uh, you can either take a train. The train co comes. You can take a train from Milan to Modena. Uh, uh, and as I understand, without actually having to change, so without needing to change the train without any changes uh, or you can take the the motorway the autostrada which would once again be a 250 case now coming back to the piazza once again uh, I'm actually standing right in front of the the modern cathedral now before I uh, swap over to the uh, the rear camera the in, the most interesting thing that you have to know about all of the three buildings or the or three landmarks located in the piazza uh, is that all of what you're gonna see in the beginning or in uh, in the beginning of this video every single landmark is UNESCO heritage world heritage 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 listed <laughs> my bad uh, so that's an interesting fact not a lot of uh, there are quite a few uh, heritage unesco listed sites in italy but uh, interestingly enough uh, it's actually I, I didn't I, even i wasn't aware of the fact that uh, all of this what's list located in the piazza is actually heritage listed so without further ado i'm actually gonna swap over to the, the rear camera so you can see this beautiful uh, Piazza Grande. So here we go. Now the first building that is going to pop in your view, that and the beautiful clock tower, that is the Palazzo Comunale or uh, the council, the local, which this would have been the, the council building uh, back in the day. Now it, although the construction actually started in the 12th century, uh, they, the, the current form, this current form that you actually see uh, is from the 17th century because of uh, a, a really bad earthquake they had uh, between the 12th and the 17th century. Uh, and then obviously it had to be reconstructed. So this form was, uh, is from the 17th century. Now, moving to the left, this is the 
the Modena Cathedral, the Duomo di Modena. So that is the Modena Cathedral. Once again, this building right here is also World Heritage listed. So that's another building that is heritage listed. And uh, I'm actually going to, I'm not going to get to the icing on the cake, which is the most, which, which is sort of like, if you, if you were to see a postcard, a Modena postcard uh, from Modena, or about Modena, that is the, the landmark that you're actually going to see, or you do see, uh, if you ever see anything about Modena. But before I go to the actual icing on the cake, I'm just going to, uh, do a bit of a 360 around the actual Piazza Grande, which once again, this Piazza right here is also World Heritage listed. So as you can see, uh, some the, the galleries, uh, AKA Sotto Portici, uh, that's where all the, 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 the shops and the buildings are based. It's ideal for building, uh, as I've said time and time again in my videos. Uh, if you were to look, Towards over there, uh, one uh, there's actually some really uh, they, th those are the side streets, and they've got some really nice bars and restaurants. And I do highly recommend. Actually, if you are were to come to Modena, just go scroll through these uh, little uh, side streets and uh, alleys, and you'll find some really cool little pubs, bars, and restaurants. So going around, so that's uh, basically. The Piazza Grande. Uh, it is cobblestone. Not entirely sure whether it is medieval because they do maintenance uh, from time to time. So I'm not entirely sure of that. Now, I'm actually going to make my way towards the actual, the most popular building in Piazza Grande, which is called Ghirlandina. Uh, aka in English would be the bell tower of this modern cathedral now these uh, if you look at these carefully uh, and if you look at uh, uh, these little uh, I don't know what the term for these is but they do tend to appear to be uh, tilting at a slight angle so I don't know whether it's part of the design or uh, whether it's once again one of those things where, where which is pretty common with these old Italian uh, um, uh, landmarks that they do tend to but I mean to me it lo does look like it is it is actually part of the actual design now as I walk through towards Ghirlandina you can see the tower is going to start popping in your view now it is a really long tower so I am actually I think I'll just sit down and I'll try to capture the whole tower from the bottom to the top so here we go and there it is so that is the most popular landmark in the Italian city of Modena which is Ghirlandina so here we go that's the bell tower now all of this infrastructure once again as I've mentioned apart from the Piazza Comunale uh, all of these the Ghirlandina the actual tower and Duomo and the Piazza they were all the construction of these actually started back in the 12th century so all of this is 12th century and apart from Pal Palazzo di Gale which obviously was uh, uh, rebuilt pretty much in the 17th century so here's another view of this bell tower now what I'll do is I'm actually gonna go stand over there and you'll get to see a really good cool view of this uh, beautiful tower which once again uh, is World Heritage listed. It's a World Heritage listed site. Uh, there's actually plaques around the city which do provide a quite a bit of information and there's actually a big plaque that you will just going to see. So here's, here's a big plaque with all the information. Uh, unfortunately it is in Italian uh, about the tower itself and the history and, and there's a big plaque up there with uh, which also is in Italian, but does provide you with the information about the actual tower. So I'm gonna go step back a bit and I'll try in, in order to try and capture the actual. Now, 
as I'm actually walking towards this street, this street right here is also, this is the most popular street in the Italian city of Modena, which is known as Via Emilia. This is Via Emilia. And this is a really busy street, obviously, because today, today is a Thursday, so it's not a really busy day, but if you were to come here on a, on a, on, on a weekend, you will see that there's, there's quite a lot of people uh, around here. Uh, once again, you can see there's some construction going on, but there's, there's still, still there's people on the street. Cafes are open, bars, restaurants are open, but you will once again be required in order to order. And, and if you, and as once I'm done capturing uh, the the actual piazza and Girlandina, we're actually going to be walking towards that way to get to the uh, the. Uh, the royal palace the, the old royal palace and you will all actually get to see the, the all the businesses and it does have quite a few clothing stores and all other sort of businesses uh underneath these beautiful sort of parties so, so coming back to the girlandina uh here's another so this view this i'm actually standing standing at the front of the actual tower and if you see here's so it's cause it, it, it is a really tall tower so I don't think I'm gonna be able to capture the whole thing in a single shot so uh, and then uh, what, even with these this tower and uh, they do they have done some maintenance in the past so uh, if you ever see if you're here and uh, there's uh, some scaffolding uh, going around the tower don't be surprised because obviously maintenance is key for these old buildings uh, but and then the other the other one other difference is I'm, I'm again because I'm no building or no material expert but uh, if you were to look carefully uh, unlike the other buildings like the the most uh, other buildings from back in the day which uh, were primarily built out of bricks these structures or actually looks like it's some sort of marble tiles or bricks. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe someone watching this would uh, have a better idea of what uh, these tiles are. Now, there you go. So I guess, yes, that's pretty much so you've got, once again, you've got your Piazza uh, Grande in the middle, you've got Palazzo Comunale on the left, and then you've got Duomo with Ghirlandina, the bell tower at the back. So that's pretty much Piazza Maggiore covered. Now um, we're gonna go towards, walk towards the uh, um, Royal Palace, Palazzo Ducale, which is a beautiful building, absolutely beautiful. That actually isn't uh, World Heritage listed because it's a recent building, it was built, uh, the construction started in the 17th century. Now, I actually, I <laughs> did realize that even though, although I've been talking a lot about these Soto Portici, but I uh, haven't actually shown you uh, any of the actual, how they actually look like from, from the inside. So, uh, what I'll do is I'm actually going to walk uh, under one of these sort of parties so you'll get to see uh, sort of how they're made up and uh, sort of what they look like uh, from inside. So. We go. It's got cafes, piazzas, sort of built into the actual uh, sort of artichi, uh, the galleries. Got all sort of businesses, not just common uh, or cloth clothing stores, but got pharmacies and restaurants, bars, all other banks, all other type of businesses. So. go now we're actually going to be turning left into that street right there so uh, and heading towards uh, uh, Piazza Roma which again is another piazza in Modena again I mean with the Italian cities especially with millions of large cities like Modena I would classify uh, Modena is a medium-sized city and here you go as soon as I turn uh, into the, uh, the, the street uh, the uh, 
Palazzo Ducale is come, already coming to our view. It's a beautiful building, and as I get closer to the actual uh, Palazzo, you will see that it is, a, in fact, a really beautiful building, definitely worth of being a royal palace. <laughs> so, uh, again, Sotto Portici. Uh, what I'll do is, actually, I, I think I'll gonna step, I'll step into the actual uh, Sotto Portici. Uh, and also because it's actually quite hot here today and it's sunny, so it might be a good idea to actually take the Soto Bartici. Uh, again, there's actually there's residential buildings, there's shops, uh, all sorts of other stuff that actually lies uh, or is sort of connected to these uh, Soto Bartici. Now, some other interesting facts about Modena, apart from motorsport, which I've already mentioned. Uh, Balsamic vinegar, so uh, aceto balsamico, so that also comes from Modena. Uh, the greatest uh, opera singer of all time, Mr. Pavarotti Maestro, he was also from this very city of Modena. Uh, the cuisine is excellent cuisine. If you were to come here, and I would recommend actually going into just a, a back street like this, uh, and uh, you will you, uh, you'll see that you'll never run out of options. Uh, businesses, as you can see, are open. Uh, people sitting uh, in the restaurants. Uh, and of, of course, if you are, you can't enter any business without having a face mask. Uh, see, it's a bit of a Italian Renaissance where you've got restaurants, uh, people sitting in the actual sort of party. So it's, it's lunchtime here right now. So I'm sure, there's a lot of people having lunch. Uh, now we're getting closer to the Piazza Roma and I think it's, I'll just step back side on the actual street and here we go. So it's slowly creeping into view and here is that beautiful Piazza, Piazza Roma. Uh, uh, actually starts from those, those little white markings, the ball, white little spheres that you actually see over there. So that's where Piazza Roma actually begins. And here is the Palazzo Ducale. So to me, I mean, there, this is the most beautiful uh, building in Modena. And uh, once again, it was constructed in the 17th century. Uh, it was the Royal Palace. So for the family, the ruling family that used to rule this area back in the day uh, and these days part of this uh, beautiful uh, palace is uh, used by the Italian military academy so they've got cadets military cadets sitting here uh, they occupy these buildings once again really large it's got a big uh, large large front uh, there you go that's the entire structure of Palazzo Ducale. Uh, the entrance, it's, I know, I've seen pictures and apparently if you were to go through that door, it's got the whole, the, the main seating, sort of seating area, but again, as you can already see, it's shade, so the, can't go inside today, but uh, it's beautiful. Uh, Palazzo Ducale. So I'll do one more wide shot of this so you can have a good look. And there you go. And then this is Piazza Roma, so adjacent to uh, in front of the Palazzo Ducale. Uh, this is Piazza Roma. Uh, again, quite a nice little piazza. There's uh, these metal. That, that, that bit of water that you actually see over there, that's uh, the over here. They're actually fountains that they do come on, I believe, uh, in the evening. They're shut at the moment, but uh, it's actually a really, it's a lovely experience if you were to come here on uh, in the evening. Uh, so I guess I'm going to stop this right here. Uh, so I've already, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, the, 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 the height of the Gerlandina, the bell tower, is 86 meters. For people who are actually curious, I uh, did <laughs> note that down, but I uh, forgot to uh, 
uh, mention that now once again this isn't it there's lots and lots of more uh, beautiful uh, landmarks uh, and structures around Modena uh, so one thing I would recommend Modena just like Bologna and some other cities have got excellent they've got really extensive uh, uh, the tourist websites are actually really extensive and even now that I've noticed I'm just coming over there uh, right over there uh, I, I can see that uh, they've actually got um, sort of information boards for tourists in English so uh, with the actual with the virtual maps of the for, for, of the whole uh, central CBD area uh, which uh, obviously are quite helpful uh, so if you do come here I don't think there'd be any issues and as far as uh, the situation goes uh, or the impact of COVID-19 as you've seen uh, this is uh, in my other videos things are slowly coming back to normal uh, the only thing that you be, have to be mindful of is that you have to wear a mask if you were to enter any business uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it now thanks for watching and if you do like the video please do consider subscribing to the channel and uh, uh, liking the video uh, if you've got any questions specific or unspecific, please feel free to put them in the comment section and uh, I'll see you on the next one. So thank you so much for watching.